CES 2024 Las Vegas. Today we have Hisense. They had an amazing year last year. Have they improved? What did they bring to the show this year? How about a 10,000 nit mini LED UX? Up next. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for watching as I'm in Las Vegas, CES 2024. Spent the entire day with Hisense. Hisense had a very strong year. I reviewed their U7K, UAK, and UX, and they really brought it this year. Focusing more on the UX in this video, I will show you their 10,000 nit capable TV as well as the 8K model, which will not be in the US, but you'll still see it in this video. They also have a ton of laser TVs or short throw projectors, a very interesting products, a micro LED, and then the lineup, the U6N, U7N, and the U8N. Some gaming, some 3D TVs, some spatial audio, they had everything. Incredible booth, let me take you through. Thank you so much for watching. All right guys, let's do it. Hisense, as I mentioned, they had an amazing year last year with the u6 u7 u8 and the ux you're looking at the 110 ux 4ks are on the corner 8ks are in the middle 4ks are capable of 10,000 nits i believe the 8ks are capable of 5,000 nits the 4k is built into this speaker system they're still thinking they may release it as a package or separately as you see the 8k the 8K will not be released in the U.S. at this time. Very similar to last year's UX. However, you're looking at 40,000 zones, 10,000 nits. Glossy panel, very bright, very saturated, beautiful TV. I was one of the few people on the platform to review the UX. Love the sound. Brute force at its best. Very powerful TV. Went after the X95, had them compared, and it hung in there. It beat it in some ways, too. Hisense has gone beyond being a bargain brand. These are high end TVs. Great to see 110 inches as they are helping push mini LEDs and have larger sizes. And many of you are welcoming that. I'm an LED fan at heart, and I only want to see them succeed, especially since they're pushing the limits of size. Many LEDs are getting larger and larger, and while in years past the largest LEDs were cheaper, having a 100-inch UAK this year was awesome, and now seeing these TVs be 110 at their highest end is insane. Forgive my voice, I'm a little under the weather, been doing some pretty long days at CES, my pleasure to do so. But it was amazing to see these two TVs, or four TVs, but two different types, and kind of showing them side by side, you can clearly see that um, the UX on the 4K side is brighter, but I'd argue that the 8K is more rich in terms of its color. Most times you can't tell density wise. I'm not sure what the resolution of the content is. I'm sure it's only 4K. Still great to see that we're moving towards much larger sizes. It's also someplace that OLEDs, QD OLEDs, MLA OLEDs simply cannot go. Well, there is one WRGB OLED that can get up here, but 100 plus, it's LEDs only. What's different this year is they had these TVs out front, but the U7, U6, U8 are in the back in a private area, which I'll show you in a minute. They only had a couple of these out front last time, but now they're front and center and they're the stars of the show. 
As I mentioned, they had a tremendous year last year, and I was able to review the UX, and hopefully I'll get my hands on the UX 110. Moving into the private area, you'll be seeing the 6, 7, and 8. Right on the left, I should say on the left, is the U6N. Here, we'll give you some quick sizes that are available. U7N is on the right all the way. U6N is closest to us on the left. What Hisense did last year different than other manufacturers is this entire lineup here is a mini LED, not just the flagship U8K. There is the 6, U6N. I'm going to try and get one of these cheaper TVs to review for you guys. You guys really enjoy the U7K coverage this year. I'm trying to show you the stand of the U7. I was a little puzzled why they had these TVs in their MVP, you know, private area. But they both look great. 7 is obviously higher end. Did not get a chance to review the 6 last year, but love the 7. U7K, and here we are at the U7N. Looking forward to reviewing their lineup again this year. And again, I'll try and get my hands on the 6N. U7K was amazing. Any blooming you see like that is more my camera trying to capture at least the body of the TV. Demo material is crazy, this show, <laughs> from all the manufacturers. Again, we're looking at the U6N on the left, U7K on the right. What are your thoughts on Hisense? Are you willing to give them a shot? As again, one of the few manufacturers that have mini LEDs from their 6, 7, and 8. That is their entry to mid to their flagship, though the flagship is the UX. There's actually a 100 inch U8K. Can't wait to see the version of the 100 inch U8N. I imagine there will be one. They could keep the U8K in stock. Excellent local dimming as you look over at the U8N. Now the U7K for many of you and U8K were very close. I didn't feel they were close. They look close on camera. U8N appears to be on the next level. You're looking at 2000 nits. It maxed at 1700, I believe, last year. You also have an appreciable brightness for the U7N. That remote is for the soundbar. The UAK found a way to be punchy, saturated, while also being a little more on the accurate side versus its competition. But again, puzzled, they were back here. But they look fantastic. A lot of gaming features. New game bar, which I'll show you here in a second. But really like the UAK a lot. I still have mine. And I can't wait to see how the U8N compares to my U8K. Doesn't feel far from the UX in the front. That's how good the UAK is. You guys saw my comparisons last year of the U8 and the U7. U8 seems to pull ahead a little bit more in this room anyway. 
I don't have a lot in terms of specs or zone counts, but they have improved their processing this year. TVs look fantastic. And million LEDs everywhere. They do have some other novelty things like micro LED, which I'll show you in a minute. And that is it for the 6, 7, and 8N. Really nice looking TVs this year. Now, if you guys enjoyed the CES coverage from both me and my partner FOMO, live streams and all of our videos, none of us are sleeping very much. But UADN looks really good. Really happy with the way it came out. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Now this next group of TVs isn't coming to the US, but I wish it was. 75 inch UX. Beautiful TV. Very thin, unlike the UAX or the UX 110. Very thin, very bright, very saturated. But the UX is very bulky. Not everybody loved that frame. This has a very thin bezel, which I'll show you in a minute. Oops, excuse me. That's not bad right there. You have the actuators and speakers on the back. Very clean look. And they do crazy numbers that they brought this to the US. Now panning over to the micro LED, if you guys wanna see this, cause you guys like micro LED TVs, this is their version. They have another one in the back of the store or back of the booth, I should say. Micro LED is a cool technology. Almost every manufacturer has a version of it. And they are all different. But I figured instead of just showing you the UX, I did a quick trailer on it. I'll show you the entire uh, booth. I couldn't get close enough to this one. It's blocked off to be able to see the seams. I imagine it's a very delicate, but really beautiful color, really lifelike image. And there's the technology being described, but even pretty close. You don't really see the seams on it. Pretty amazing. Now I'm moving over to the new kind of competitor. I'm not sure this one is gonna be in the States. It's their take on the frame, which they had a TV like this a few years ago. They discontinued it like an old TV or, or an old radio. This is pretty cool. Matte finish, bulky design, but it has that like Jetsons old school design to it. Now moving over to an AK projector. This was here last year. Sounds incredible. AK Sonic screen. It's the screen and that sub. 
I play the sound for you if there wasn't music in the background, which gets hit for copyright. But it's not really dark enough for this projector. But this short throw projector at 8K looks pretty awesome. And sounds amazing. Very intricate looking, very expensive looking. Hisense had several laser TVs there at the venue. Really crowded in that area, even though I'm there privately and early. This is my favorite Hisense non-TV invention here. These two projectors pivot out, can turn independently. Both images are 16 by 9. They pivot out independently, 16 by 9. So you'd buy one, use it the way you see it, it would move around. And then when you have the money, you can buy a second one. And the picture combined from two 16 by 9. 21 by 9. It was very cool, very impactful on per, um, in person, and seeing it blend together was really cool. Showing you some gaming, a lot of monitors for the manufacturers now. This is pretty cool, speakers everywhere, ultra-wide monitors, driving simulator. Some gaming on a 100-inch UAK in the back. But the star of the show was the UX 110 guys, the U6N, U7N, U8N. Just show you some of this stuff really quickly. Doing this voiceover at about 3 a.m. Video will be up tomorrow. Looking forward to reviewing at least the 6, 7, 8, and the UX. And there's the UAK 100 inch gaming on it. It's pretty cool. Here's another micro LED. This one's 216 inches. Very cool. Not for practical use, but always amazing to look at. And lastly, they have this 3D non-glasses display. Pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the coverage of Hisense for 2024. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please consider liking and subscribing. I'm Brian from Brian's Tech Therapy. Talk to you soon. Love you guys. Thank you so much.